Greetings, 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 my viewers and subscribers. Welcome back, welcome back to another video. Thank you guys for taking the time out to listen to this one. All right, my peeps, so a couple of cricketing stories that I want to take a look at. Uh, I was looking at the Barbados cricket website yesterday and I noticed that they actually put out three squads that are set to take part in a triangular series. And in that triangular series, you know, players will compete for a spot in the uh, squad for the regional championship. So we see a couple of uh, names, you know, people popping up back. Shimar Hola is set to take part. Shane Dorich is there. Uh, she hope quite a few of them are peeps. We're going to talk about that some more. Plus, um, I was doing some reading and some research yesterday and I was trying to find uh, the coaches in the Caribbean that are actually level three coaches. You know, that is one of the stipulations according to CWI if you want to apply for the job there. And, you know, it's pretty interesting. A couple of the names that I hear people calling to take over um, if they should be if they should try to select if they are selecting someone from the region I don't see any level three beside their name. So we're going to talk about it Just make sure you watch this one until the end and if you have not yet subscribed Just go right ahead and subscribe to the channel. All right, let us kick things off with um, the Barbados story my peeps and as I said, I was doing some reading yesterday and I saw where the Barbados Cricket Board, they actually han um, announced that there's going to be a tri-series tournament to decide um, their team for the West Indies Championship that will start in January. And the three teams will be captained by Shea Hope. He will take one. Shane Dorich, the experienced West Indies wicketkeeper, he will captain one. And Nicholas Curtin will also be a captain. So those are the three players that will be captaining. Going to go through the squad and give you a couple of the names. Might not get a chance to run through all of the, um, all of the names, but going to you know, give you some of the players that are coming through. Um, in, the, in those three squads. So, yeah, man. And in, interestingly, my peeps, they, they, they are calling it, they are calling the squad, well, they are they, the squads are named after some um, West Indian greats, right? So they say, uh, Shea Hope, Dorich, and Nicholas Curtin will captain the sides which are named after Sir uh, Charles Griffith, Sir Garfield Sobers, and Sir Wes All. So those three, P, um, those are the three um, people that the, that the, the teams, you know, they name the teams, um, the teams after. So they say the first match is going to run from January the 5th to the 7th. So from the 5th of January to the 7th, then they will have the second match going from the 10th of January to the 12th. And the third match will run from the 15th to the 17th. And they are saying after those three matches, um, the pride squad will, uh, play the best remaining players from the series in a four-day practice match from January 21 to 24. So Barbados getting themselves started out, my peeps. So those three games, you are going to play them, then select the squad, and then the squad will play against the, you know, the, 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 the better players or are, are the, the so-called best of the rest, you know. So um, they, are, they, are, they are getting themselves together, my peeps. So big up to everybody over there in Barbados. I am hoping, as a Jamaican, you don't know when it comes down to regional cricket, I want Jamaica to win. But looking at things where West Indies cricket is concerned, I am hoping that, you know, a couple of the guys will come through, you know, from this squad. When I look at the other squads, then I will talk about the other squads. But people like Shea Hope, man, it would be good to see Shea Hope getting some runs under his belt and, you know, working, him, working his way back into the West Indies red ball team. I know I'm going to get stick for calling Shea Hope's name and the red ball team in the same sentence. But I mean, if he work himself back into shape and, you know, where he's batting and scoring big runs, then you will have to give him a chance. And, you know, I am hoping that he will regain that form that, 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 that led him to score that double century in England. I think it was in 2017. So Shea Hope is definitely one of them. And people like Shane Dorich, Shimar Holder, I am looking forward to seeing what Shimar Hola will, will, will bring. So, you know, um, the, Sirs, uh, the Sir Charles Griffith squad, which is captained by Nicol, um, Nicholas Curtin, will see people like um, Joshua Bishop. You understand? Um, they have uh, Joshua Drakes, uh, Kian Harding, Shimar Hola, you know, Matthew Jones, 
uh, Shane Mosley who would have gotten his uh, uh, his international cap already but didn't work out too good for him Shamar Springer is also there and a couple of others Kevin Wickham another player that we need to look out for in 2023 so those are some of the main players that will be under the leadership of um, Nicholas Curtin and the Sir Garfield Sober squad now which is captained by She Hope that will have um, people like Jonathan Drakes, uh, Jaden Ed, um, Edmund, 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 Matthew Ford, um, Amari Goodridge, Shim, uh, and, and a couple of other, other players will be there. Jamal Warwick and, and guys like those. So, you know, She Hope will be leading that one. Big up to She Hope. And the Sir Wes House squad, you now you have Shane Dorich will be captain in that, that team. Then you have people like... Um, uh, Greaves, Romario, Greaves, Kyle Hope, Akeem Jordan, and a couple of other guys, Kemar Smith, Akeem Springer, Naeem Young. So these are some of the youngsters that will be taking part, that will be, um, you know, playing for under under the leadership of um, of Shane Dorit. So we're wishing the players all the best, and we're hoping that it will be a good triangular series. We are definitely going to keep tabs on it, so we can give you some updates as it relates to how you know the the, the guys are performing. So that is it. Where the Barbados um, aspect is concerned, you know. CWI, I think about two weeks ago, announced the schedule and announced, or it could have been last week, announced the scheduling and everything where the West Indies Championship is concerned. So, you know, you're, go, you're, you're going to see teams coming out and putting out um, the, their squads and, 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 and practice games and all of that. So, definitely keeping an eye on the other teams. All right. So, just before we go, my peeps, I was doing some reading, some digging trying to find the coaches that are actually um, level 3 certified in the Caribbean, right? We, we, we hear people saying they want, um, they want uh, regional people to, to, to lead the team. You understand? I think it's split down the middle. Some saying we need international people. Some saying they need to give regional people an opportunity. And when I did the review the other day talking about um, what, the, what the prospective candidates need to have uh, before they get the job one of the main things that was actually listed is a level three coaching certificate from the cwi and i was re trying to do some reading and i couldn't find anything um younger than march uh 2018 so you know this it might we might have an updated list because shivner and shandopal and a couple of other people were doing their their, their, their thing, um, I think it was in 2019, 2020. So this list of 25 players, um, 25, you know, former players, some of them, they are all the level three um, coaches that we have in the Caribbean. What I'm going to do, I am going to leave it in the description below. So you can go ahead, click on the, the thing, look in the description below and you will see all 25. But just to let you know, Shivner and Shandopal, who we are a lot of us calling to, 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 you know for him to get an opportunity when this list listen listen to me when this list was made published in 2018 he was not on it so you know we would have gone through to the, the latter the rest of 2018 2019 2020 2020 21 22 so obviously more people probably would have attained or would have gotten their um level three so we have people like um currently ambrose is there ryan hines clay smith Pedro Collins, um, we have uh, we have Stuart Williams, uh, we have Winston Smith, Richard Clark, David Bernard, we have um, as I said Stuart Williams, uh, Bren, uh, Brendan Ram Ramjal, I think he's called Terence is also there, uh, and a couple more of them, and they are saying it's level three, yeah man, level three. So I'm gonna post the list in the description below and as um so you can take a look at it and see who um are the level three well who had level three certificates as of 20 in 2018 not sure if we have other players on the list but just so you can have an idea you know um as i said probably shiv would have gotten his you know we see people calling for carl hooper his name is not there we don't know um what the qualifications are like um i don't see andre coley on there either but i am suspecting that i am i am thinking that probably you would have completed 
um, he's over since since then so you know this was published on March in March 2018 so you know it's not probably we have more people on the list you hear the amount of time I say it because I don't want people go away and start saying that these are the only level three coaches in the Caribbean and and and, and so you know so yeah obviously Phil Simmons is probably um up well I don't see his name you know, but he was, I don't see his name, so I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to leave it in the description, my peeps. Big up on yourself and we'll touch base later on.